Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. I'm doing a separate video on the Manitoba maple that we did a ground layer on in spring. So today, we're going to prune the tree up, we're going to remove all the leaves, and we're going to dig down in the soil and see if any roots have grown from the point where I removed the bark on the trunk down low. Uh, this tree, I wanted to dig it up this year, but it just had one large root that went down into the ground, so there's no surface roots at all. So that's the reason we, I tried doing the ground layer. So the million dollar question is, did it work or did it not? If it did work, uh, we might remove the tree from the ground now. If it didn't work, we'll uh, recut the groove around the trunk and try again. So the first operation we're going to do is remove all the leaves off the tree. Just so we can see the structure for our pruning. We removed quite a ring of bark around it, uh, right down to the wood. It didn't slow the growth of the tree down at all in spring. It kept up with all the other Manitoba maples that weren't touched. So it's kind of amazing to me that it can grow with the same vigor when you do an operation like that, but that's what it did. It just kept growing. Okay, so we've got a really vigorous branch growing here, and there's a pair of buds down here that we can prune close to. We don't want to prune too close to the buds. We want to leave a, a bit of a length, and that'll die back to those buds then. So we'll go about halfway there. We've got one growing out of the ground here, which I don't think we want. I don't know where it's coming from, but we'll prune this back shorter. We've got some here that we can prune back quite far, right down to here. And here. So we're just pruning off all the new growth down to the first set of buds. Shortening it like that. Scraping off a few scale insects that are on it. They're uh, old, old shells that... And there's one back here. So that's gotten everything shortened up. Um, we're not going to spend too much time on the style of this tree for now. We're just going to check to see what the roots are doing. So let's do that now. Let's see what's going on with this ground layer. So we're going to start raking away the soil at the base here. I have been watering this tree to keep all this soil moist where we're trying to grow our new roots. And the new roots will be quite delicate, so we've got to be pretty careful when we do get down to the root level, if there are any roots. Now the air layer was fairly deep in the ground. I kind of piled the soil up on it to keep it moist so it wouldn't dry out. So we're going to have to go a fair way down here. There's our cut down there. Not seeing a whole lot of roots. I'm seeing a few, but not a whole lot. So there's our original root down there. The trunk has swelled up a lot around our cut point. You can see a few fine roots. So we'll continue digging and see what's happening, if anything. 
Yeah, there's a few more fine roots on this side. So I'll, I'll just bring the camera around this side and get a better view of what's going on. So you can see down here, we've got some roots forming. There's some up top here, a few down on this side. So we definitely can't dig the tree up yet. It just doesn't have enough roots to sustain it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out the gouge again and reopen that, that wound and bury the tree again. And we'll try and fall and see if we've got more roots. So we're going to go in with our gouge. And just make sure this our groove around the trunk is groovy. If you miss one little spot with your groove, the tree will continue growing normally. You'll use that little vein to continue growing. So you have to be really, really precise when you're making your groove that you get it all the way around right down to the wood. So we do have some fine roots which is good. The tree is starting to grow its roots but you know, they're just not there yet. And the tree has gotten a lot thicker above the point where we remove this ring of bark. So, it's done some good. It's thickening up and once it grows some roots, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. Okay, I think we're good now. So we're going to fill the soil back in, gently around all these roots. That are forming. And we'll wait and we'll check it in fall providing the tree grows vigorously. If it doesn't, we'll just uh, leave it till spring. And again, we'll bury it with soil up the trunk so it uh, keeps our newly forming roots moist in the ground so they're not drying out on the surface. And we'll keep it well watered again. I just, uh, you know, Hot, dry days, give it a, a watering in the morning, and that keeps it moist throughout the day. And that should do the tree for now. So that's our update on our ground layer of the Manitoba maple. We got some fine roots forming, but not a whole lot. The tree was growing really vigorously. So we've... Uh, we uh, re-established our groove around the trunk and buried it back in the ground, underground. And we'll check it in fall and see what's going on with it. So that's it for today. Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.